Good morning, class four. How are you? I hope you all are doing well. And after a long time, you are seeing me. Okay, is it? Okay, students. So I hope you are uh, following the social distance, and also you are wearing the marks while you go out. Is it? And also you are uh, listening or you are obeying your parents. Is it? If you don't do, then okay, when I will come, then it will be very bad for you. Okay, students, so you have to keep it in your mind. Okay, so anyway, students, so today we will start our uh, final syllabus. Okay, and that is chapter 4 and the lesson name is the clever frog. Okay, students, so this will, we will study and I think whatever that we have complete before. Okay, so that you have to do it okay so i uh, students uh, before i uh, i start this class i'd like to inform you that on 19th october monday 2020 we will have the value education oral test okay on this day i will on monday i will send you the some questions that you have to answer that one and um, you have to send that answer in my personal whatsapp number okay students so this one you have to keep it in mind whatever the lesson we have complete and uh, uh, last syllabus that uh, just uh, uh, prepare yourself for the oral test okay students so today we will start about the clever frog okay this is a very interesting story students this is a very interesting story uh, once upon a time there was uh, there was a race in the uh, forest okay and there was a group of the frogs and they all were have a competition okay about the race and they started to hopping and they have a put some target where they have to uh, reach first okay so all the frogs started to hopping okay they started to hopping and uh, they went um, and they started to hopping and uh, some some frogs get tired some one some frogs were jumping so fastly okay and among the all the that two uh, uh, all that frogs there were two frogs and they were hopping so fastly is it and nobody was behind them they went so far okay they went so far and finally what happened well, well they were hoping and they just uh, felt on the one deep uh, what is that uh, it it was not a pond it was a dig okay so uh, like a one uh, dry uh, pond okay there were no water so they felt there okay so uh, and they started to they tried their level base to come out from that uh, pond okay uh, but they were unable to overcome okay and finally they discouraged okay they discouraged and the rest of the frog who were behind them they just uh, hope they went hope by hopingly hopingly they reached the destination and when they went there and they saw oh two two frog were before us where they are so they started to searching them because they were not finding them okay so finally what happened they come to searching searching they come to the near that um, that deep okay uh, there was uh, some deep okay so when they come there they finally they found them there uh, that the two two frogs were inside of that uh, pond okay so finally what happened they started to shout and they and they were unable to help them they become a whole hopeless because there were uh, no other way to go there and take out them okay because there were no way okay you can see the pictures in your uh, book okay there were uh, some dry lips and, uh, and there were uh, some dry lips and they tried to uh, help but they were unable to help them and they also they become uh, tired and they uh, they were just um, because they did so much hard work so th that's why they become uh, tired okay finally what happened the all the frogs from the top uh, they shouted come come try to get up try to get up no they started to shouting and finally when they saw that all that the frogs are shouting from the up above and they started to jumping okay they started to jump and jump and then try more and more they finally they couldn't and now there is no way to live anymore because they become so tired okay so one of the frog he just uh, lay down 
okay and he just uh, uh, give up he give up his try okay and but the still and uh, that the rest of the frog were also shouting and they also thought now they may die because uh, they are not able to come out or we are also not able to help them so leave them so like that they were thinking but still they saw that the one of among the two frog the one frog was jumping okay and he was jumping more and more more and more and then the frog was trying saying uh, okay no need to jump more because you are already tired and there is no use of trying so hard because it is so deep so you can't come out no like that they were but still they were watching what would happen in a future so they were just waiting but that frog was still jumping and jumping and jumping and what happened in some way that the frog one frog he come out from that dig okay he come out from the dig and uh, uh, then uh, they saw how how it is possible how this frog is come out okay then they went to and asked to that frog how did you come out how did you overcome the situation how you come out how did you jump no like that they started to ask him but the that frog was dumb no and uh, he was unable to hear okay then he said uh, then he he was saying when you were talking saying that come out uh, you may be saying to me that uh, something but i could hear i can see you that i thought that you are cheering me okay try 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 like that you 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 were encouraging me that's why i thought and that's the that get me gave me a power and that's the reason i come out and that the other one was unable to uh, he was because he was listening of the discouragement of the other frog that's why he gave up okay but this he was not unable to hear this frog that's why he overcome the situation okay so student what is the moral of the story from this lesson that we learn and that is the that is one when you listen so many things okay uh, for example when we are in a uh, in the time of exam okay so time of exam what happens so we will uh, we get a fear isn't it and uh, uh, many people you know our parents our teachers they uh, give us lot of ideas lot of uh, what is calling that uh, uh, advice okay they gave gave us and they say you have to do this you have to do this you have to do this okay when you listen all that things then you become uh, confused okay and the what the you have a target you have a target to pass the exam with the good mark is it but you will forget that one because you are listening so many things from your parents from your uh, from your teachers from your relative from your friends that will keep ringing on your ear and when you sit for the exam the all that words will come oh my father said me like this you have to write this like this so what you will do what happen what will happen no so finally you will lose your conscience okay and uh, you will you will do what your parents your friends what they have advised you but you forget what i have to do okay so students we have to always keep it in mind once we give once we keep the goal suppose i have to pass this final exam with the uh, with the a plus grade then you have to prepare and you have to focus on that you don't have to listen what the people are saying okay so you don't have to listen that yeah they may give us advice but you can just listen and throw out it with the other eye okay students but you have to make fix that i have to overcome this situation i have to overcome this exam i have to pass this exam okay that you have to keep it in your in that you have to fix in your mind then only you can overcome okay so we will uh, we learn from this uh, many time no that the uh, that the people they gives idea but uh, that is good to listen but you do what you have aimed what you have focused okay students so then only you can overcome the situation so this is all about the story of the clever frog okay so clever frog clever sometime this clever frog no his weakness that dump no he 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 were on he was unable to listen but because of this weakness he used as a his power 
सो यू हैव टू यूज योर वीकनेस एज अ पावर ओके स्टूडेंट थ्रू आउट द हिस्ट्री इफ यू स्टडी अबाउट द आवर वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री ऑल द ग्रेट पर्सन आर नो यू हैव माइट स्टडी यू मे स्टडी इन अ फ्यूचर क्लास ओके मे बी इन अ क्लास सिक्स और सेवन अबाउट द राइट ब्रदर्स हु वेर इन्वेंट हु इन्वेंटेड द फर्स्ट एरोप्लेन ओके सो वंस दे स्टार्टेड टू डू दैट वन द मिनी पीपल दे कम एंड डिस्करेज दैम ओके इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इफ दे कुड लिसन टू देम देन दे वुड नॉट हैव इवेंट द फ्लाइट ओके दैट एन एरोप्लेन that today what aeroplane that we are using because of them if they could give up give up that one then we would not have this isn't it so students first things you have to keep the goal and you have to do hard work until you get success that mean that's why i always say try try until die until you die you have to keep on trying though i am a teacher but still i am trying still i am learning still i am uh, trying to be a best okay so student that one you have to keep it in your mind okay student so i hope you enjoy my class and this much for today and before i close once more i remind you on monday 19th october we will have the value education oral test on that day i will send you the question okay students so prepare yourself best of luck for oral test okay so students okay stay home stay safe okay and use the marks when you go out okay have a nice day bye bye thank you